Stocks are selling off off the lows, though, continuing to react to the employment report showed only 20,000 jobs were added in the month of February. That's far below expectations. Blame the weather or the government shutdown. Any way you slice it, though, it is an ugly number. The question, Kate Moore, is it an anomaly, as Larry Kudlow and others would have you believe today, and the market seems to be buying that story? Look, we have to take the weather into account, but I think the important details underneath the headline is that there are a number of sectors where you're seeing slowing job growth. You would expect that this late in the cycle when the labor market is really tight. The thing I was most focused on was actually the wage gains. And, and some of that was affected by the work weeks, we know, but there's a lot of other underlying wage pressure. And how companies handle that in, an, in a year of slowing growth and more uncertainty, I think it's gonna be really, really critical for profits over the next four to five quarters. Yeah, John, you can brush this aside, you, you can, but you can say like transport's been weak. Mm -hmm. Russell has been weak. Yeah, Vicks were those up. the canary in the cold? Yeah, market? right. Vix has been up five days in a row. Mm -hmm. So what does it all mean to you? Um, I, I'm agreeing with both Kudlow and you and I when we had the conversation coming on set. Uh, I, I think that this is an anomaly. I think this is out there because of weather, which Kate cited, as well as, of course, the uh, government shutdown. I think those two factors are really the main drivers for a 20,000 number that is so far out of where we think the economy is right now. Uh, I'm anxious to hear everybody else, but I believe, Scott, that this was a one-off and that uh, we still are trying to reestablish an uptrend that we've done since December 24th. We've come back into it. We've had a couple pullbacks, but they've never been more than 2 or 3%, and I think this is the same. All right, Court, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, Congrats too, Congrats on your beautiful baby girl. Thank you very nice much. Nice to have you back. Crossroads, inflection point, does it feel like that's what we're at right now in the market? No, and, and it's interesting. I absolutely agree with you guys and um, Kudlow. I'm not sure if, if it's a fluke number per se, but one data point does not determine where we are. We have to look at this collectively. Okay, so what did we do January? What did we do February? What are we going to do for the next three months? Yeah, well, three-month average on the jobs number is obviously good. That's what you know, leads people to say 20, ah, don't put too much stock exactly, in that, so to speak. Exactly, absolutely. And so are we at a crossroads? Well, we're at an interesting time for sure. I mean, when you think about the global economy and the global markets, but as much as things change, they too stay the same. I think we were having the same discussion when I was last here in October. Is the trade deal going to make a difference? Is the Fed going to make a difference? Now that they have the tone that they have, maybe so. However, very data dependent, as they've said, and they're being patient. What more can you ask for in a market that wants certainty versus uncertainty? Weiss, worst week of the year. Uh, Trump was leaving just a little while ago for Alabama, says you're going to see a very big spike when you get a trade deal, if you do. Although there's less optimism today mm. than there was at the start of the week mm. about a deal with China. How do you see it? Yeah, and I, and I think that's true. It's interesting that at the beginning of the week, uh, I think collectively we thought, or at least I did not speak for others, that we're selling on the news because the, the, the narrative was that there was a trade deal. Now, as we come back, the ambassador's article from China, the U.S. ambassador to China in, in the journal. Right, saying, yeah, we're really not as close as you Not think, close, right? not near it. So now we're getting some negativity, and I'm surprised the market's not down more. Appropriately, as everybody said, it ignored the jobs number today because the market came back to where it was before that number this came This is the right out. move, right? I mean, you right. think it was an anomaly as well? I, I do think it was an anomaly, and I always look at it on a three-month three average. You can't look at it any other way. But here's what I'd say. I think that we still have a little more pain in the market. I, we're in a range. Uh, I was exchanged some emails with your partner, Rick Reeder, last night, and um, he called the top in rates on the 10-year thing to the tick to the day. Mm -hmm. And so that's an important number because... Right now, sitting below 2.7, where are you going to put your money? So you're going to put them into equity. So I think eventually it comes back, but, but there's too much uncertainty. So first quarter to me is going to be the tell. Yeah, we may get a pop on China, right? right? But who knows if that's sustainable? I think we ultimately sell off because what happens with China, it doesn't happen in a day.